The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Hey everybody, this is The Ash Holes. Each week, they smoke a different cigar, sometimes the same cigar, but mostly different, and they give their honest impression. They always assign an official Ash Holes rating to that cigar. So, pull up a chair, light up, relax, be an Ash Hole too. It's very rewarding. Broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in San New Hampshire, this is the Ash Holes Podcast, and today we're going to have a blast and smoke a patriotic cigar. There we go. Oh, oh, have yeah. a blast. That wasn't even in the script. No, it's nice. 4th of July. We're wow. away from our families. The cookout's going on. Let's just get away for a little while, have a cigar, and who we shitting. We taped this shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think I was coming up today instead yeah. of having a hot dog. Right. You're crazy. <laughs> Most of the 4th of July shows wind up being like this. Right, <laughs> right. But uh, maybe it is raining where you are and you say, uh, let me tune in. The ash holes are on. Yeah. And here we are for you, right? Why not? I imagine it'll be raining here on the 4th. It's, it's been raining, raining uh, every day. Every day. Not Monsoons. just raining. Thunder and lightning every single day. Every day. Never seen so many in a row. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, today is 4th of July. Uh, My name is Dave, and that was Aaron you just heard from. Ed Sullivan next to me. It's Dan next next to Ed Sullivan. Chrissy on the side over there, and she's very patriotic. She has uh, red hair. (laughs) <laughs> it's not really it's red. It's red, it's white, the same pink that it's always been. Yeah, yeah. I was just—I thought we were pretending. I was not going to dispute right, it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. It's red, white, and blue stripes today. There we go. <laughs> Patriotic hair. There, yep. there we go. So what are we yeah. we're talking about, Dan? What are we lighting up? Well, today we're going to light up a very patriotic cigar. We're going to light up the E.P. Carrillo Pledge Firecracker. Yeah. So this is made in the Dominican Republic. It is the traditional firecracker size, three and a half by fifty. The wrapper is USA, Connecticut, Habano, Ecuadorian binder, Nicaraguan filler, and the price six ninety nine for a single, one twenty five ninety nine for a box. And if it's still available, you can find this cigar at twoguyscigars.com. That is the number two guyscigars.com. There wasn't many left, but uh, I'll tell you if if it, it uh, if there is. Grab them because the weekend will wrap it up because mm-hmm. they sold them in the stores over the weekend, too. So uh, grab it while you can. Um, and that goes for, let me bring it up, is the Fat Finger Cigars from the Cigar Authority. <laughs> mm. Today is the last day oh you my can God. buy this is it. the Fat Finger Cigar. It, fat Finger Independence, we call it. It's Independence <laughs> Day, and it's the last day to buy Fat Fingers. You can't buy them after. And I promise you, people are going to be looking for them oh, they're the day want after. Them. When they can't get them, that's when of they course. want them. And that goes for the, uh, the Pledge Firecracker from United Cigar. So uh, let's do it. Uh, well, we got a cold draw, right? Cold draw is leather. Leather. It's not usually, you don't usually get a leather on All the cold leather. draw, but it is very leathery. Well, not my, not my first go around with this. And uh, Ernesto Perez Carrillo, who did it. a lot of them. But it is strong. It's Mm -hmm. real strong. Mm -hmm. A pledge is strong to begin with. Yes. And the shorter you get on a pledge, the stronger it gets to me. His, uh, is it, is it Robusto on on that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Whatever his five inch one is is called, um, is the one that got a 98 rating in Cigar Aficionados, the highest rated number one cigar of the year ever. And his longer one got a lower rating, still a great rating. Yes. Mm The smaller, the more, the higher it got. I was saying to him, if they rate this, it may be, may get a hundred. Right, it's <laughs> yeah. even shorter. <laughs> yeah, um, this it was interesting going through the process of this with him, um, and this is like a two-year project that goes on. It had just become the cigar of the year. Oh yeah, and yeah. it's like no way he's going to do mm. this. And uh, he said, of course, I have to do this, right? Mm. And I said, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> right. You do whatever you want to do. And he says, no, no, let's do it. Uh, and he delivered. I think well, he, did he a great said job. he was going to do it, so he did it. Yeah. This is the idea of what Firecrack is supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You know, the limited release one. Yeah. We, we send it to somebody, and they are giving their rendition of what a Firecracker should be based on the criteria given to them. So mm. uh, here we go. All right. Well, it's time to light our cigars. Brought to you by Perdomo, the hottest brand in the land. A company founded on quality, tradition, and excellence. That's nice. 
Yeah, we forgot the law. One draw, that's 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 the law. It's brought to you by Abuelo Cigars. You're going to live under my roof? You're going to play by my rules. Abuelo Cigars. Okay. Yeah, it's punching the nose. Yep. Yep. Tongue tingling. Yeah, right from the lips, but even Mm -hmm. my nose tingles. Uh, I want to sneeze almost. Um, I hopefully won't, but uh, exactly yeah. what it's supposed how, to be. How strong do you mm. think? It's a nine. Nine? Yeah. Nine. Right. This is a great cigar for people who don't have the palate that Dave and I have of mi- super mild, more yeah. mild stuff. Mm. It's a, It tastes great. It's just such an ass kicker. Yeah, right. <laughs> a little bit of sweetness on the, on the uh, retro, though. Mm. Just on the, at the very beginning yeah, of it. Yeah, retro that, I'm Dave. Not, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. Can you do it? You retro heal this? I think so. Really? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I wouldn't go full bore, but, you know. It'll clear you half out. Half of it, that's for sure. But, and I know we can't see Chrissy, but she's not even lighting it. It's okay. I don't blame you. Yeah. No, it's, this is not for you mild cigar smokers. It's not for you. It's no. not idea, yeah. It's not a ten, but it's yeah. It's strong. Yeah. So it's. I mean, the firecracker in general is usually a stronger cigar, but when you add mm. in this pledge blend wow. to that format, <laughs> it, it, the strength is really high. Now, what, what I was curious with this cigar is this the first collaboration that was a number one cigar of the year blend? Mm. Wow. Yeah, I would say because most of them have been. If you think back, it's Padron, it's Fuente. It was Alec Bradley once. Yeah. Um, LFD. LFD. LFD never won a cigar of the year, did they? Yes, Andalusian they did. Yeah, we right. did LFD, yeah. but but it wasn't. It the exact wasn't one. that. It wasn't Andalusian Bull because nobody no. could because it those. didn't exist. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And, yeah. and when they made a special Andalusian Bull, they charged. Fifty thousand dollars <laughs> right, or whatever. Yeah. Right, you couldn't have afforded to that do was, this. That was the them. NFT thing. Yeah, so they did it. They they uh, he they did what they're supposed to do. And uh, funny, uh, we were looking at renditions today of next year's. Yeah, yeah. wow. That is all done. Nice. Yep, it's done. Done. So how long does it take to do it? The answer is two years. <laughs> it's a two-year process anyway. One, at one time going back, I think we had the third year all set up, not done. but, yeah. but mm-hmm. yeah. So and Is that the one I brought you samples of at one point? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that was quite a while ago. We yeah. just handed them and said, this will be the next firecracker. I said, I'll <laughs> give them to Dave. I don't right. know. Right, right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's interesting. So today we're talking about, uh, it's 4th of July, what's uh, possibly the best smoking holiday there is it's of the year. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So, uh, patriotic cigars. Um, you know, if I have people over if, or I go get together with other people, um, it tends to not actually be... Um, the best cigars or whatever, it mm-hmm. becomes because I got to take care of everybody. Right. And not that I'm cheap and I wanna, don't want to take care of no. everybody, but it's got to be super mild. Everybody can do it. They just want to light up, light a cigar, right? You mm-hmm. want to, uh, so it becomes a, a whole different thing for me. Maybe first thing in the morning, I'm going to smoke a firecracker every year. Mm-hmm. Maybe yep. a United Cigar, which is another patriotic type of, of thing. Yeah. Uh, but then, the gang comes over or something, and then it's, uh, hey, I got these mild cigars for everybody, and I'll smoke them because it's okay with me too. Yeah. yeah. You'll smoke everything. If, if I, I, I would really feel bad if, if I gave everybody something and I smoked something different for myself. Mm. It'd be like everybody has hot dogs and hamburgers, and I got a steak yeah. on the grill for me. No. <laughs> they yeah. just take the band off. They don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, just, come on. I've thought, it, I've thought and said, you know, wouldn't it be nice to smoke this really thing I've been saving oh, for a yeah. long time? But I'm like, no, I'm going to have what everybody yeah. else you know, is having. You know how many times when I'm like, I'll, I'll bring cigars to a party and I'm like, oh, yeah, here you go. And, I, and I'll get good cigars, whether it's like, you know, that's uh, more palatable to someone. Maybe like a Camacho Connecticut or yeah. like something that's a little bit more 8 to $9. And then I'll smoke a Davidoff or an Atabay and I'll just, mm. just yeah, take yeah. the band off mm. and, mm. you know. Yeah, I haven't pulled that one off yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, just tell them it's super strong and they wouldn't like it. Mm. You know, just like with a kid. You know, like, oh, you wouldn't like yeah. this food. It's, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, it's vegetable cake. You don't want it. Right, <laughs> right, right. So uh, best smoking holiday of the year today. Uh, let's talk about patriotic cigars. What would a patriotic cigar be? Pledge 
came out with Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. Right. So while we were coming out with E. P. Carrillo's Pledge Firecracker, perfect for Fourth of July. That's what it's made for. That's what it does. Yeah. They come in at the tail end of this thing. Yeah. We yeah. released it. It's coming out. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and believe me, we didn't know. Yeah. Yep. We're releasing the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm like, oh, my yeah. God. When? Same oh, day. Oh, 4th of July. Right. The, <laughs> yeah. the press release was only, what, a week, it 10 was days, days? Just a few it was days, days apart. before. Oh, my God. Days apart. I go... Really? And he's like, I didn't even think of that. That it's gonna rain on your parade. <laughs> yeah. and I go, I don't know, or whatever. Yeah. But they're, they're they're both good. Uh, I say they're both good, but Pledge of Allegiance, I never smoked. Mm. Mm. Well, it sold out right away. Sold well right yeah. away, instantly. Yep. What never, I never got to see it. What I laughed about when I read the press release <coughs> is they made seventeen hundred and seventy six boxes, right? Which is a great idea for a project I was working on at my old company that I don't. It should be coming out. This year, with the exact same. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, I swear they have they have a bug in there mm. because there is a couple projects that they've done, which are all great, that were either looked eerily similar to things I was working on, mm. or little and details I, like that. And they tend to be slow on the uptake of doing mm. it. They, where a smaller company can actually pivot and go right. really yeah, fast, yeah. especially if they heard the news or Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. So I don't know. But um, 1776 for the United States and uh, 1,000 boxes of EP firecrackers for the United States. But that means 2,776 cigars for For Fourth of July. For a holiday. I'd say Ernesto Perez Carrillo, born in Cuba, owns Fourth of July this year. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Absolutely. And the the boxes for the Pledge of Allegiance looks beautiful, too. You know, and... uh, I only saw pictures. Yeah, same. Yeah. I, I didn't see it in person, but, you know, obviously when you think of patriotic cigars, you got to think United Cigars. I mean, not only just... Year-round. The, Year-round, the original natural Maduro lines for their packaging style, but also um, for each box contains a little piece of an American flag right. that mm-hmm. raises money for veterans. Um, so obviously that's pretty on the nose for patriotic, but even under that umbrella with Firecracker and other projects that we, uh, we've done... Um, yeah, definitely. And, and, and more coming out. All of, all of it, obviously, letting you in on it, everything that's coming on. And I hear more of some of the things coming out next year mm-hmm. and uh, staying true to that uh, patriotic Americana type of mm-hmm. yeah. um, thing that, that happens, where cigars in general were more a Cuban type of thing. Right. And not about America, but more about Cuba, later on Dominican Republic, now Nicaragua popular. Yeah. Um, not about the Americas at all. Right. Um, it was more about uh, Spanish speaking countries mm-hmm. than, right. than there. But uh, over the years, the, there has been some stuff to come out. I remember Evil Knievel came out with a cigar, mm-hmm. very short lived. That was uh, mm-hmm. one and done uh, huh. at a trade show many, many years ago. Yep. But, but there he was with the red, white, and blue and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's been lots of military style yes. cigars to come out. Oh yeah. Um, obviously, you have like the J.C. Newman, the American. Mm. Yeah, which you is know. super American. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, it has the shield on Everything there as well. About it. Yeah. But yeah. I think too, like patriotic doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be in the color scheme. It's like because also too, if you look at a like United Cigars, that's the branding. So like mm-hmm. for another company to make a cigar that looks really similar, you're kind of treading lightly on other people's trademarks and stuff. But like to me also patriotic cigars are some of those old classic Connecticut rapper cigars, like the old money makers yes. and you know, all those F D Graves and yeah. uh, Topper, Topstone, mm. uh, yeah. uh all Connecticut broadleaf stuff mm. that in, yeah. in its day was uh Certainly, uh, what we smoked in the United States back in the, the other turn of the mm-hmm. century, um, that was the hot stuff. I'm trying to think of um, the, the Stogie one. Um, oh, there's one where the word Stogie came from, Ed Sullivan. Um, Nothing. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know um, Hochi Blanco. Owns the trademark to uh, it, and I go, "Why don't you do something with this? It's an it's an old old wasn't brand." FD? No, no. FD Graves. Yeah. No, no, I oh. can't remember what I, it was. I th- remember hearing that story at one yeah. point. But I don't remember the brand, but I, I feel like there's a, a different way to be patriotic. Because and it's great that so many different brands 
now are using some of the American tobacco outside mm. of just Connecticut, true Connecticut wrapper with Pennsylvania. You know, Pennsylvania. Very popular right now. You know, mm-hmm. and, and Florida Kentucky. sungrown. Florida sungrown is right. Yep. Another, another one. Uh, bad crop for them coming up. Oh, uh, man. Feels uh, so bad. Yeah. They had a terrible hailstone in Florida while the, at the ending of the growing season where the hailstones went right through the tobacco leaves yep. and, and completely wiped it out. Couldn't it have happened happen. at a worse time. Right. Yeah. Literally like days before harvest. Man. You'd, you'd think Florida would be pretty safe from hail, I right? think every, everybody's you know. kind of doomed with uh, El Nino this year. It's just right. all across the country. Yeah. Just, weather's crazy. I saw every kind of weather you could imagine in Florida, except for, except for snow. Yeah. But yeah. there's parts of it where it gets frosty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when but. it rains down there, you never saw anything until recently around here. We, mm. We've seen it here, too, as it's happening. Uh, I would say more cigars will be smoked on Fourth of July week than any time of the year, mm. every year. You know, p- this is typically when, and we do, we're going to be leaving in a couple of days for the trade show, yep. uh, which was a terrible time to go mm-hmm. uh, for a retailer, especially in the Northeast, that have a long winter. Um, this is the time, the best season yeah. of the year, if I put a graph out there and show you the spike that ends up happening yeah. in, the, in the week previous and the week after 4th of July, when most people take their vacations and yeah. have time to smoke, um, that is when I have to lose a few guys to, to leave yeah. for the last time, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We talked about it last week on the PCA preview show, but now that I think about it, I remember... I think the last PCA that I went to, uh, which was in 19, was there was one year it was before 4th of July, like June, whatever, 28th, uh-huh. and then I came home on the 3rd. Look. I mean, for all those years. That's that a it, big travel day, too, right? Yeah. Out of all those years, it was right around this time. Did you like going before or after 4th of July? I would like to go way before 4th of <laughs> July. Yes, of course. But. Which we will be doing. Um, but. No, I, once once the summer season begins, which is June, I, I don't want to do I don't uh-huh. want to do events. I don't want to do anything. Don't I need wanna, to. Yeah, I, mm. I want to get to business, make hay when the sun shines, right? Yep. And uh, that's what I'd like to do, and that's what we will do. So, looking forward to that change up that happens there. Um, yeah. And uh, be able to spend the attention on my customer as opposed to uh, for sure with, with the manufacturer. So. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, why don't we take a break now, and we'll do our top five delightful news, some letters in the mailbox, and a six-pack this week. There we go. Mm. Only Great Leaf makes great cigars. Aganor Salive stands out because of the distinctive mouth-watering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm, or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganor Salif different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganor Salif. Hello, cigar aficionados. This is Klaus Kellner from Davro Cigars. I invite you to taste the elements with Davidoff Escurio, Nicaragua, and Yamasa. From water comes originality. Savor the sweet and spicy originality of the Davidoff Escurio tobaccos born by the rains of Bahia, Brazil. From fire comes intensity. Enjoy the bittersweet aromas and fiery intensity of the Davidoff Nicaragua. From earth comes complexity. Taste the earthy flavors and complex spices that are unique to the red soil of the Yamasa region in Dominican Republic. Only Davidoff Master Blenders could take the power of nature and blend it into a range of exceptional cigars, each element making each cigar a unique experience. Water, fire, earth, flavors that have risen from the very world itself. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Davidoff Cigars, cigar adventures to a wider world. Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Solidly constructed, and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael. It outsells them all. 
Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Aging Room 4 Nicaragua Maestro. Named Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of the year with a 96 rating, is a complex Nicaraguan puro carefully blended by Rafael Nodal and made by A.J. Fernandez. As Cigar Aficionado described it, every puff is an overture of flavors that's at times heavy and rich with notes of dark chocolate and wood, and other times subtle and understated with hints of fine caramel and toasted almonds. Treat yourself to an aging Room 4 Nicaragua today. Surgeon General warning cigar smoking can cause cancers of the mouth and throat even if you do not inhale. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head, and value, value, value. There are Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian, and here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five year old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well aged long filler leaves. So, what you do expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional, a flavorful journey into sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take a journey. And we're back live in the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop, San New Hampshire. We're smoking the EPC Pledge Firecracker. And we're about to blow this up. Here we go. <laughs> if you want to send us an email, it's theassholespodcast at gmail.com. We're also on YouTube, Facebook, and those other fun places. The band doesn't last long. No. You, know, no. you move the first well, band a few seconds in, and then a yeah. few minutes in, you're taking the big band off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the band spans almost the length of the cigar. But so, mm-hmm. Dan, in the future, I think you got to look for manufacturers who have little bands. Small bands. <laughs> so I think it's going to... It, who's uh, m- maybe just Romacraft, right? Well, he already yeah. did Romacraft, too. Already, so. <laughs> yeah, there's just the strip. Uh, yeah. but tiny but impossible to take off. You know what? My work, Juan Clemente. Ah. Because that was just the foot band, yes. right? Yes. I don't even know if... Does that it, exist? Or? It is not. Uh, back to Hochi Blanco, I believe he bought that really? brand also. And by the way, it did come to me during the break. Mosh Wheeling was the brand I was looking for. Mm. Mosh Wheeling was the first cigar brand made in the United States. And the, it still exists. That's where the stogie, the word stogie, came from. And um, to me, it's a, it's a great history of it. Um, but people don't even remember what it was. Right. But I sold them in the 80s. Yeah. We had them to sell. And there was a story of, oh, this is the oldest, you know, oh, Marsh Wheeling. I heard of that before. It's the oldest cigar brand there is in the United States. Oh, right. all right, I got to have take it in. And it was just one of those um, cheap cigars. You yeah, know, it was Broadleaf, too. Broadleaf, I yeah. believe, yeah. Wow. I believe so. Mm. So uh, what do we have going? We have uh, Letters in the Mailbox, 4th of July edition of Letters in the Mailbox. <laughs> I hope it's patriotic. It's, well, <laughs> oddly enough, it's not even close. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to say it's not patriotic. You're not saying... They're not even from the U.S. So. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Dan. He says, uh, greetings from the, across the pond in Wales. Wales? Yeah. Nice. They, have a very, they talk very slowly, very deep. No. Well, a little bit of Australia, right, is Wales? Right there next door? No, no well, not, not even close. No, wow. it's next, it's next South door of to England. England. No. <laughs> England. Oh, I thought it was right like there. South no. towards England. So you yeah, thinking know. of New Zealand? No, once I get past Rhode Island, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fair. So uh, it says, uh, just a quick email to say I really enjoy the show as well as the other one. Or whatever that show okay. is, who knows. Uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, another listener wrote in and told us, told you his experience of strange place, strangest places they had enjoyed a cigar, so I thought I would offer mine. Uh. I believe that person was from London, too. Was, was visiting London, or at mm. least. Yeah. Okay. Oddly enough. Right. Uh, maybe it's not a strange place, but the scenario was certainly memorable. It happened a couple of years ago while I was driving with a friend through uh, the Yorkshire Moors. It's a beautiful place, but it's, it is Caboose. vast and remote. We were driving an old Porsche uh, 356B. The mm. soft top was down, broken, in fact. Uh, but that wasn't the only thing that was broken, as it broke down uh, miles from any 
kind of civilization with ominous black clouds drawing closer. Ooh. We called the breakdown company to pick us up and decided to smoke a Partagas D4. Mm. Needless to say, it started Good raining swim. heavily. Luckily enough, there was an old red phone box <laughs> close by, and oh, we wow. both squeezed in and enjoyed the rest of the cigar <laughs> with only our feet getting wet. An hour later, the tow truck, drive, tow truck arrived. As we opened the door, the clouds of smoke billowed out, and we looked like we just exited the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Hopefully that reference isn't lost uh, on I you all, it. which uh, just reversed the polarity on the neutron flow. And anyways, I thought I would share that. Uh, keep up the good work. All the best, Dan. Mm. Yeah. Never smoked in a phone booth. Nope. nope. I wonder, I'm sure I went in with a cigar, had to make my back I mean, in the day, make, make yeah. my call, but to sit in there and, and Claustrophobic. Have it. I mean, a bus stop, certainly, if it's raining or something. <laughs> yeah, the, just the big, long yeah. things. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I saw a phone booth. Yeah, I've never know? been in a phone booth. I've never <sighs> been in a phone they booth. Had, I mean, they had, uh, what's it called? They had pay phones. Still. But they were uh, They were usually onto wall yeah. mounted, yeah. My buddy Tom Troy from the Aruba Cigar Company had a phone booth in his smoking room. Huh. The, the whole booth. He bought a phone booth, mm-hmm. and of his phone was wired in, and everything. Nice. Could make oh, it, so it would ring yep. on ring the phone the, booth. Yep, in his phone booth, and that's how we'd get it. That's we'd cool. Take a call. Well, he had a phone. lot of secret conversations to have, so he probably had to go in there. <laughs> yeah. and, I don't know, but when he was moving, he said, "Do you want the phone booth?" And I said, "I want it so bad. Yes, I do, but, but you can't. Take I can't it. take it. Yeah. I have to start saying no to things, <laughs> but I want it so bad." Yeah. Uh, I used to always say it was the coolest thing. Yeah. You had a phone booth in your house. Well, the actually, so the, you wanted that even more than the dead animal head that Nestor Miranda <laughs> yes. wanted. Well, wow, my wife <laughs> put a note to that when I got zebra. <laughs> Whatever it was, she was appalled. She said, there's no <laughs> way. There's no way. Yeah, the only phone booth actually I've been in is the red phone booth in Nashville. It's a cigar bar, like speakeasy. And the oh. way you get into the club. It's through a phone booth? You have to go through a phone booth and you type in a code. On the phone? On the phone. Oh. And drop the door down. opens. Oh, it th- so drop when down I, like get smart. You're yeah. supposed to have a code to get in. Like it's a members only thing. Wow. So I had the code from someone, but the phone booth was so they're like, I'll just come in. And it was just like, ah. Oh. It, it's, it's so weird that when people say, oh, I've never even been in a phone booth and things yeah. that, you know, were just commonplace. They were, I mean, there was probably a thousand in every city, right? Yeah. And now there's no phone booths. Nope. One place that didn't have a phone booth. In it, which was a weird thing, and people used to talk about it, was McDonald's. Mm. Mm. No phone booths, mm. really, in McDonald's, and they purpose for whatever reason they purposely did it so they figured something people. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So hmm. they ended up doing Although it. Although so. a very high percentage it was a phone booth, but somebody had ripped the handset yeah. off, yeah. 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 squeeze ketchup yeah. back yeah. into the, uh, the yeah. mouthpieces, yeah. and Look or the coming. earpiece. Uh-huh. You put the ear, Maybe uh, that's uh, why. <laughs> these are things people used to do. Gross. Yeah. But they were made so well. Oh, you yeah. could bang them and slam them. It didn't matter. <laughs> they didn't break like that. I mean, yep. it, they There's had to work hard. No, to work. no satisfaction on hanging up on people anymore. It no. used to be a big yeah. slam. Yep. Now yeah, you got to pay another thousand dollars for your phone or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, screw you. <laughs> Bleep. <Yeah. laughs> Not the same at all. No, he loses everything. Yep. Uh, well, I have a Dave six pack here for you for the Fourth of July, and this one should go over big. Uh, very patriotic. Uh, six cigars, and I have a firecracker, the regular United Cigar firecra- Firecracker that's available all year round, is available, and uh, you'll get one of those. You'll also get a big poppy firecracker Ooh, nice. that came out for opening day two years ago. We put them aside. We have some uh, for a special occasion. Fourth of July is a special occasion. Oh, yeah. $7.99 uh, if you could buy it. You can't. United Natural Robusto and United Maduro Robusto, two patriotic cigars. Still, those cigars are $7.99. Mm. Unbelievable. Uh, that is a good value cigar. Mm. The American Robusto, so that is the other patriotic cigar, I agree, but that is not $7.99. That is $17.69. Yeah, and that's expensive a lot because of the manufacturing of mm-hmm. it it's yep. all made in the united states yeah even the boxes every bit of it yep. i think i'm going to add uh nine seven cents onto the cigar in the future and make it 1776 so chef will have a oh. 1776 <laughs> hey, 1769 right. but 1776 yeah, would make fine. better make better sense right. uh henry clay warhawk Ooh. Right? There's patriotic. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and Henry Clay is an old-time brand. But that was the old 
Connecticut Broadleaf. This yeah, is not. No, this, this is, is a shade. Not, right? This is a Connecticut shade. It's a yeah. very good shade. Yeah, it's cigar. great. Yeah, yeah I, I love the cigar yeah, anyway. Great smoke. So buying them would cost you fifty six forty four forty four ninety nine forty four ninety nine. You go to twoguyscigars dot com. You go up into the search box, search Dave's, and all of a you sudden it's going to pop up. You just, just search put Dave. Dave it's yep. fine. But if you try searching around the website, it's you don't hard find to it. Find. So secret. It's, yeah, it's there. And, you know, just the people that pay their dues. Do you think we should have a special show? code like the phone book? It, that's, well, that's the code, Dave. Yeah, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's it. it. Um, I suppose you could have made the deal be 1776, but that's too good a deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to lose that's some right. money would, on that. Yeah, that would be buy the American and get all the cigars free. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and then we go, while going out of business sale, we'll have following yeah. that. Uh, so right now it's time for the top five brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Aloha. Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect 10 and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them so you can share with a friend. And now, here's today's top five list. All right, today's top five is the top five most patriotic movies of all time. Now, doing my research for this, tried to find all these different lists going over these movies, and they all stunk. So I admit, this is my all right. most patriotic movies. And are okay. you saying this doesn't stink, or it's just a Oh, different... it's way better. It's yeah, the, it's, it's better. So when nice. we complain about it, we're actually complaining to you. Yes, yes. Okay. and you'll be wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, good. Uh, <laughs> number five is The Patriot. Well, uh, if you're I, doing patriotic, why wouldn't something named the Patriot be of course. number one? Of course. Yeah, well, you know, it's good, but it's not. It's not, not that. At least good. not the best. And this is not Patriots Day. No. With nope. The bombing of Boston. <laughs> no, 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 nothing no. to do with no, that. No, no, no. no. This is the Mel Gibson, Gibson. This is yeah. a Mel Gibson movie about the yes. Revolutionary War. Mm. Yep. Uh, I think. Uh, Brave part in America. Yeah, Lucius Malfoy is the <laughs> Malfoy is the bad guy. It's good. <laughs> Number four, Independence Day. Independence Day, where they celebrate with a cigar. Yep. Yeah. When they saved Welcome the world, Earth. what was the cigar? Oh, it didn't have a it didn't have. Oh, a it, it did. It, it did? did. Oh boy. Oh wait, was it a Monte Cristo? No. Nope. And it was out of a tube. They took it out of a tube, and it showed a few different times during the show. Oh, I don't remember. And Damn. all of a sudden, tube th- Romeo. Th- this was a cigar that was really big at one time. It really started slowing down. It was dying. This movie came out. It took a blip back up, and then it well, crashed too- and died. No, no Maganudos. No, it was no. bearing. Bearing. Oh. Bearing. Yep. Because I just watched this movie. I didn't, I didn't see any logos. I just remember uh, seeing yeah, the smoke I cigar. I never saw it. Is it the one with that slapping guy? Yeah, with Will Smith. This was when he was... Did he just walk around slapping everyone? No. no well, he slapped the alien. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, did, you know, yeah. maybe that was... So his, you're saying Chris Rock Hey, we're talking about alien. his wife. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. No, that's but, a you know, solid theory, though. You know, but great movie. Uh, you know, it's not going to win an Oscar, but it was good. Yeah, sequel's garbage. Number, <laughs> number three, Air Force One. Harrison Ford classic. Yeah. yeah. You know. Good. Not, good movie. How much of patriotic. that movie did he spend outside of the airplane clinging to it? I think 90%. More than more than, <laughs> more than you'd think realistically <laughs> possible. Yeah. But uh, great movie. Number two, Saving Private Ryan. Great. Never saw it. Really? No. Really? Long. Yeah, yeah, it is a long movie. It's yeah. long. I Has can't, com- can't compete to that. But, uh, I mean, I mean the opening scene of that is the, the thing. Oh, yeah. 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 The Sold day, a lot yeah. of surround sound systems with that oh, opening. Oh, boy, yeah. yeah. Yep. And then, number one, the greatest patriotic movie of all the time, Rocky IV. Oh, uh, yeah? Great movie. Because if he can change him, I can change <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Change. He's, He's, He yeah. stopped the Cold War. <laughs> That's it. You know? Yeah. Wow. His friend dies, and he has to fight for not just him, but America. And I wow. know people beat up on the Rocky movies, but they're oh, very that's exciting. The whole oh, it's awesome. Up, right? Yeah, they're great. I like it. Yeah, so, everybody loves them. Come love on. Rocky IV. So, yep, that's your top five. Patriotic. Ed Sullivan, didn't we see a patriotic movie, a Fourth of July movie? Called in the Fourth of July. Called Fourth of July that yeah. never came out. Hmm. Never hmm. came out. No. We saw it at a, at a screening with, yeah. with the actors. No, I think it was. It out. came out. It just didn't, it wasn't a theater movie. Yeah, it was uh, like released. Like, you talk about the the was Louis it movie. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. It was just and, released through his like website and independently. Oh, all right. Yeah, excellent, excellent movie. By yeah, the way. it was good. I heard yeah. it was good. Yeah. Okay. 
That's delightful. Are you tired of the news claiming the end of the world? Everyone run for cover! Mayday! Are you sick of turning on your radio and hearing things like this? Code Red, duck and cover! You're all in danger! Well, I think it's time for some delightful news. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. How delightful. All right, and this story comes to us from the UK. And this is really delightful technology news. Oh. So no kids, no old people, no t- <laughs> no, teenagers saving the day? There's oh, people involved. <laughs> Grocery carts can tell researchers who may be at risk for stroke. Oh, great. And 39 shoppers were diagnosed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, uh, who knows what they're shopping for. There were supermarket carts in Liverpool that were fitted with sensors. On the handles. Yeah. That could identify people at risk of a stroke, and dozens of willing participants were diagnosed. Hmm. Just trying to get some milk. You let them know, be careful of this one, because it's going to be testing you? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to take it. He had to opt in for the testing, I think. Um and really what it is is uh, trying to detect AFib, atrial fibrillation, okay. because that puts you at higher risk mm. of a stroke. So it, it's not that magical. I mean, this watch. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's like it. my watch does that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you'll know. You don't have to go to Liverpool to no. do your food shopping. Yeah. They got those little pads you put your finger on oh, and yeah. attach your heart. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's not that magical. Okay. I mean, I loved the headline, and then as I read the story, I got more and more disappointed okay. with it. Yeah, it's like, which shopper's having the stroke? Well, the one that's screaming but at all the staff. it saved somebody's know. life, though. Uh, potentially. I mean, in the end, <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm not even sure it was delightful at all. Let's just forget we did that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Uh, I guess it is time to review the cigar. This is... The uh, annual firecracker from United Cigar that comes out each year. This is the E.P. Carrillo Pledge Firecracker. Uh, a one and done, as far as I know. Um, you never 1, know. 000, no. You never know. 1,000 boxes were made. And uh, as I say, uh, it's, it was down to the close yeah, to there, the end. There were some. Uh, so I, I The think week the, previous to 4th of July. Yeah, there so. may be a few left. Yeah. Hmm. It's worth checking. Worth Get checking. right on it, yeah. though. Twoguyscigars.com. See if they're there or you your favorite your brick and mortar store, wherever that may be. Uh, all right. I have my answer. I, I usually go number. first. I'm going to go last. Okay. Whoa. All right. Are you giving it 100? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it might get 100. It could. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Uh, I smoked it till it burned my fingers. I gave it a 92. 92. Ooh, nice. Great flavor on it. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Very strong. Though. I'm still smoking it. It's very strong. Great cigar. Happy fourth. They gave it a 90. 90, 92 is a 91 so far. We'll see. I gave it a 94 oh. because Ooh. it's the fourth. That's an Ed 100. Ed, that is huge. I thought it's I huge. had the winner sport. here. I did a 93. No, but it's the fourth. It is the fourth, but I did a 93. Uh, and mine's much more festive than you are. Those yeah. that are looking yeah, but, at it with but my, mine's higher. 94, it's one 93, more. 91, and 90. Whew. Oh my God. 92. 94, 93, 92. 93, 94. So 90. 92 plus, 92 and yeah. a third or yeah. something. Might, that might be a new record here. Could be. Mm. I don't remember anything going to that high. Well, I, yeah, it's been a while. Because no. usually Ed throws in an 89 at the end yeah. and drops it over ruins there. everything. But he went to 94. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. interesting? I let you go first. Probably the highest mm-hmm. rated, well, the highest rated firecrackers. I've I had. would say. Yeah. Like, it was the ideal readily, firecracker yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. for something like that. Yeah, because there, there were others I certainly enjoyed as much, but were they... Really prototypical firecrackers, mm. right. right? Like uh, the Perdomo one. Yeah. It didn't have the firecracker strength. It was stronger than his normal blend. Yeah, very but, tasty. But, yeah. Oh, a phenomenal yeah. blend. Yeah, also Bandolero. With the Bandolero, another great yeah. example. Yeah. Mm. Not, oh, blow your face off. No, which L- I, lovely cigar, I think is fine. fine. That makes it accessible to some people who wouldn't normally yep. get yeah. a cigar think, this Think strong. of the ones that were out in the past, though. La Flor Dominicana, Double yeah. La Hero Firecracker. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The like Cro-Magnum was a yes, strong yeah. one. another one. Uh, Saka put some. Yep. Yep, pissed off. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they, they put it on. So, oh, what's yeah. coming out next year? You want to? Do you tell want us? me to tell you? I can't. I know you know. <laughs> I don't you. know if you know the brand name. 
Oh, I think I do. You do? If it's what was on the sample package. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll, tell you on the, I'll tell you after yeah. the show. I think we're done, though. I think we're done. <laughs> so what happens next week? Next week, cigar bans. Yep. And we will, will we be here? We won't be here. We well, will we, we'll, well, we'll be here. We'll be here, but we'll, we'll be, be here. here. We'll see. <laughs> we, we, we'll, we'll be here? Yes, we'll be here. <laughs> after 4th of July. Yes. Yes. Surprise. Okay, yes. we will be here. Cigar bans. <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about. So got bands next week right here on the Ashos from the Jose Dominguez studio right above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. We'll be here next week. Happy 4th. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.